G'day cheeky dogs, my name's Monkey and I'm an Australian currently living in America. Today's video is going to be breaking down Rusty's family tree. Now, before we start, I do of course have to bring up the fact that Bluey, the whole show, was meant to be Rusty instead. Rusty is actually the name of Joe Brum's dog when he was growing up, who was also a red Kelpie. So of course, Rusty was always going to be really close to his heart. You know, the whole show was originally called Rusty because Rusty was my Kelpie and it pivoted to Bluey early on, but Rusty's always held a special place for me in the show and, and I love writing episodes for him. And we could see that all the way back in the early 2017 pilot when even though it's about Bluey and her dad at that point, both Mackenzie and Rusty appear not only in the title card but in the episode itself. So we always knew that Rusty was going to have an important role in Bluey and initially was apparently also Bluey's cousin because of their almost identical shapes. However, that was later retracted and changed to just friend. It was just a mistake. They're not actually cousins. But first, real quick, a word from today's sponsor. If you are ever injured and you have no idea where to start, with Morgan & Morgan, it is so easy. Submitting a claim for an injury doesn't have to be a stuffy process. No need to visit law offices or sit through really timely consultations and meetings. A lawyer will review your case and you can text them easily to discuss it, as well as sign contracts, upload documents, and look at claim details all from your cell phone. So remember, if you are ever injured in an accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Literally, you can submit a claim in eight clicks or less without ever having to leave your couch. For more information, go to forthepeople.com or dial pound law. That's pound 529 from your cell phone. But let's talk about Rusty's family. Starting off with the oldest person in his family, his dad. Hey, Rusty! His dad brought it back from patrol. Now, we don't know Rusty's dad's name, but he has been in two episodes, Army and Cricket, with Cricket being the first time we ever saw his face as well. In the episode Army, he's wearing a green beret, so we can assume that his job within the army is in a commando regiment and possibly a special forces unit. Maybe something to do with the aviation unit as well? Because in the episode Cricket, not only is he seen with a black hawk behind him, but on Rusty's desk in his home, he has a helicopter etched into the desk as well. So perhaps the boys know that their dad flies with helicopters a lot and that's why they to etch it into the desk because it means something to them. As we sort of established in Army, Rusty's dad's, you know, he's in the Army and he, he gets posted here and there. Or he could just be part of the regular infantry battalions of the Australian Army because they also wear the rifle green berets, which, yeah, is another version of green. The Sherwood green is worn by commandos and the rifle green is worn by the Royal Australian Regiment. So he could be in commandos or he could just be part of the infantry. And take care of your little sister for me. Love, Dad. We also know that Rusty's dad loves playing cricket with his family, especially with Rusty as well. And interestingly, on his chest, his chest patch is a triangle. All of the people in Rusty's family have different shapes for their chest patches. So we're gonna be going through that design choice as well. Now, Rusty's dad's voice actor is Anthony Field, most commonly known as the Blue Wiggle. But also, he was the voice of the postie in the episode Dance Mode. Look, if you could just stop dancing for a moment. Would if I could, mate. And some really interesting facts as well that make Anthony such a perfect voice actor for Rusty's dad is the fact that he was also in the Australian Army. From 1982 to 1985, Anthony served in the Australian Army and we can see photos of that and he's talked about it a lot in his past as well. So that's all the information that we know about Rusty's dad. So then let's move on then to Rusty's mum. Rusty, honey, time to go. We also have seen her in two episodes, Explorers and Cricket, with speaking roles both times. Rusty, dad's letter has a PS for you. Rusty's mum is voiced by Jane Hall, who is a famous Australian actress, most commonly known for her spot in Neighbours. Now, in the episode Explorers, we didn't really find out much about her, except for the fact that she drives a blue jeep. But in the episode Cricket, we do see her have more of a personality and get some extra details about her as well. We assume that she also is a working mum because she isn't able to pick up Rusty from school when his dad isn't able to pick him up, so that's why Jack's mum picks him up instead. But what we didn't know was that when Rusty's dad was away, he'd get a lift home with his mate Jack. Rusty played at Jack's a lot that year. So through that inference, we can assume that she's also working. Now, of course, we should bring up that all the way back in season one in the episode Mums and Dads, Rusty does make a really big point about saying that mums are at home and they look after the kids, that they don't go to work. Mums don't go to work. Yes, they do. No, they stay at home and look after kids. So yes, maybe all the way back in season one, his mum was a stay-at-home mum and was staying at home looking after the house and looking after Dusty. However, of course, this was back in season one. Things can easily have changed by three seasons from now, or technically it has also been a year from now as all the kids have aged up from six years old to seven years old. So by season three, maybe she's also working. Indy, I think my 
sometimes can go to work. We know that she also has some similar parenting styles to Nana from the 80s when she likes to chase her boys and little girl around the yard when they try to get the cricket ball through the window. Uh oh, run! Ah! Yeah. But we do know as well that she obviously loves her children. And we can see her really enjoying her time playing cricket with them on the beach and just her general interactions with them as well. Her design choice as a red kelpie is really cute. She's got like the little fur on the side to get, make it look like she's got like hair. But also she has like a sideways zigzag or lightning bolt strike as her chest patch. Now, I have already done a video about a whole bluey theory about whether Rusty's family is poor or not, and most of it's based off their house design and the information we got from the animator Alice Walsh about it as well. Because we also knew that Rusty was meant to be from the bush, but this house actually puts them more in the inaugural area around the army base. And based on how you feel about it, if this is based four years ago, Rusty's family is probably poor. Or if it's based in the current times, Rusty's family is just as rich as everybody else in Brisbane. But if you want more information about that, I'll leave a link for that video up here, as well as in the description box down below and I have a whole rusty playlist that will be up at the end of the video. So moving on then to the oldest son in the family and that is Digger. And Digger, you thought Christmas up north was hot. Digger has only appeared in one episode Cricket and he was a surprise. We thought we were just getting our younger sister Dusty. We had no idea about Digger at all. We also find out that Digger has a friend group which includes Mia and Captain which then puts him around the age of between 12 to 14 years old. His design as well is really interesting. In the Behind Bluey podcast we found out that his hat is based off Joe Brum's own high school experience and a very unique look. The thing that stands out to me about Digger was his hat. I remember I had to I had to source one of those wide brim hats, which I had in, in high school. But Joe was describing to me this way that you'd sort of fold up the brim to create a sort of makeshift cap, which just looks kind of cooler, but it ends up looking kind of goofy. His chest patch as well is a V shape, or it could almost look like a bit of a love heart shape too. As for Digger's personality, it's definitely a lot different to Rusty's, I think. His personality seems to be a lot more straightforward. Whilst he is encouraging to Rusty, it's definitely not the same as how his dad is encouraging to Rusty with his dad being a little bit more supportive. Maybe wait till you're a bit older. We do see though that Digger really does care for his little sister as we can see him helping her out even when they're playing cricket on the beach. And of course, he also loves cricket. More interestingly though, I think Digger's name is just such a fantastic Australian Easter egg. The name Digger is actually a reference to a nickname for Australian soldiers from World War One and World War Two, And of course, that being a army reference, linking in with his dad being in the army as well. I don't know, I just think it's such a great option for a name. And yeah, Rusty and Dusty are cute because they rhyme, but Digger, I like that they kind of made him more after his dad. So, moving on from Digger though, and looking into Rusty. Hey, Rusty! Now we know Rusty is about seven years old now in the current time of Bluey. His design is almost the exact same as Bluey's, except for different colors and the tail is just a little different as well. Rusty's chest patch is also a diamond. Now his debut initially would have been the episode Calypso, but of course we do see him in the 2017 Bluey pilot in both the intro and the episode itself. And like I said at the start of this video, we always knew Rusty was going to be a very special part of this show because of his close connection with Joe Brum. We do also see that he rides a motorbike apparently, but we've never actually seen it in Bluey except for when he's talked about a motorbike and that was in the episode Wild Girls. I can't be dealing with witches. I just bought a new quad bike. In total, Rusty's been in 16 episodes with the five major ones being Early Baby, Mums and Dads, Army, Space and Cricket. In terms of his voice actor, of course, like all the other children voice actors in the show, we have no idea who it is. But the accent that he has specifically is a very Australian country accent. Scored just the most endearing country accent, you know, for Rusty. Which of course then fits in with his initial bio about being from the bush, riding motorbikes. He sounded like a bush kid, but I'm kind of sad that they never showed that in the show with him living out in the bush or having property out there and instead just living in the city near where Bluey is. Of course, though, like all the other child actors in the show, we have heard Rusty's voice change as he has gotten older. To help me! Bluey's gone crazy! I need to hide! As long as we don't give up, we'll make it back to Australia. Let's go to Mars. It's got aliens. And of course, there is the big debate about whether or not they're going to recast the voices or not. And Joe Brom has said that he wanted child voices in the show because it sounds more natural. So who knows what's going to happen with this in the future. But let's talk about Rusty's personality because he is such a perfect example of positive masculinity. Aw, this baby don't like his nubby nubby. He loves action, he loves adventure, but he's also empathetic, as well as willing to change and learn. He is a really caring and helpful character to all the other characters around him. There's something wrong with me. Hmm. Well, you're really good at playing army. 
Rusty, of course, is the fifth character now in the show to have a future sequence, with Bluey and Jean-Luc being the first two in camping, and then Leela and Bingo being the next two in The End of Daddy Drop-Off. And of course, with the episode Cricket, we see Rusty growing up to become an Australian cricket player himself. And then finally, we're going to move on to the youngest child, and that is Dusty. Can you hit me? Not yet, Dusty! Now, we can assume that Dusty is around the age of four. Her voice range sounds a lot like Bingo's when the show started, and based on her height being a little bit smaller than Bingo's, we can guess that she's maybe a year younger than her. Her design was done by Costa Kasab, and I love that she has the circle patch and a fringe as part of her design as well, and a little bent ear, even though no one else in the family has the bent ear. But it does just make her look really small and cute, and I love that. She has only been in one episode, Cricket. However, she was known way before then because of the leaked Amazon image for the Bluey Friends book that came out in the UK months previous to her debut. And that's of course when we found out that her name rhymed, Rusty, Dusty. In terms of her personality, you can tell that she really looks up to and wants to play with her big brothers a lot, and she loves playing cricket with them as well and gets so excited when they include her in the game. I got it! So, overall, that is Rusty's family tree. Which person out of Rusty's family do you love the most, slash also want to know more about? I would love to find out Rusty's mum and dad's actual names. I think that would be really cool. And of course, I want to see a return of Dusty and Digger too. But let me know all your thoughts in that comment section down below. And while you're there, don't forget to hit that like button as well as that subscribe button and bell for notifications so you know whenever I release any other Bluey videos. But until then, I have picked you cheeky dogs out a few other videos that maybe you would like to watch and I will see you all in another video. Mwah! Bye!